大家好，今天呢就啊、呃，因为很忙碌啊，现在在呃赶时间呢、啊，把我的呃不同的家具啊，就是 furniture 呢，放进去我新的店里面哈、啊，所以呢，呃，很多 WhatsApp 的 message 啦，然后有一些呃 delivery 的一些电话一直打来，所以呢，呃，好了，今天就呃顺着平时的一样时间开始了，今天。呃，就是啊、呃，比较迟的一些上来哦，所以呢，呃，真的因为很忙很忙，所以呢，呃，希望大家给我一个谅解哈。那今天所需要讲的东西呢，就是关于啊我们的啊了解哈，最近就是那个 King 啊、呃、King Charles， 还有 Kate Middleton， 他们都生一个癌症哦。啊 ，Recently we have found out that 啊、uh, both 啊、uh, King Charles and 啊、uh, Kate 啊、uh, Middleton。Both have cancer, and today I will share with you why. Right from a feng shui perspective, why is it that both of them are having cancer? I have mentioned many a times before, right?、Uh, our graveyard、uh, of、uh, the graveyard of ancestors will always have a form of influence over our well-being. 哈，就是我们的先人嘛，他们的那个呃，我们所说的葬的那个地方呢，啊，就是他。去世之后啊，埋葬的地方都会对我们有一个影响的哦。那我们就很能够很清楚的啊，能够看到 Queen Elizabeth 啊，她现在呃、啊、埋葬的地上的那个风水啊，其实是有问题的啊。那我就啊一步一步跟大家讲解哦，也希望大家呢能够了解，因为我现在呢就是啊今天呢啊。在讲很多事情啊，所以呢，呃，有时候有一些 WhatsApp 啊、呃、message 进来哈，希望大家能够给我一个谅解哦。有时候我需要看一下那个 WhatsApp， 因为很多人在 deliver 不同的东西给我哈。So just to give you a perspective, right? What actually happened, um, uh, right after the death of uh Queen Elizabeth, we have noticed that several uh uh negative events have take uh taken place, right? Have taken place in the royal family. Right, first of all, is that right? King Charles, King Charles, um, have uh the uh cancer. All right, um, perhaps I will just show you some of the important pointers, right, so that you will be um more clear on uh what actually happened. Right, first of all, right, um, we understand right the final resting place of Queen Elizabeth the second is at the King George sixth. A、uh, memorial chapel at Windsor Castle. All right,、um, she was buried on the nineteen of September, nineteen twenty-two. And then in the fall of um two zero two two, Prince William and Kate Middleton moved their family from uh Emma Hall in uh Norfolk into Adelaide Cottage, a four-bed room house on the grounds of Windsor Castle. All right, so um perhaps I will just. Show you some of the map, right? The Google map、uh, of this、uh, place whereby、um, the king, uh, uh, sorry, the prince, uh, um, sorry, I mean,、uh, Queen Elizabeth, right? Queen Elizabeth was married. Okay, so you will have a better idea what I'm talking about. Okay, so first of all, right, this is、um, the Saint George、uh, Chapel, right? This is the Saint George Chapel. Let me share screen with you. Alright， 在悬空飞行里面啊，我们常常都说哈、啊，呃，我们的呃悬呃悬空飞行里面嘛，卵头跟仪器要一起看哈、啊。Alright，in terms of the 悬空 flying star，the external environment will always need to be analyzed together with 仪器呃风水 ，which is 呃呃 school of 风水的 involve calculation。For example， we have one very famous school of 嗯、um, 仪器风水 ，which is called 悬空 flying star。Is actually a a system that will inform the analysis of the、uh, nine flying star. For example, ah,、uh, some of the names of the flying star are called right. Ah,、uh, in case right, you are not familiar with Feng Shui, right? Ah,、uh, to make this um sharing as simple as possible, some of the flying star inside the Shen Kong Flying Star we have the. 第一就是那个一白桃花星哈、啊，二就是冰福星啊，小冰卫哈啊，也是代表廉政的。那第三就是那个争吵星是禄存，那个三逼的禄存星是代表争吵的啊。那第四呢就是那个文昌星了啊，文昌星是四四路文昌星啊，是属木的。第五呢就是一个我们常常都会面到的一个凶星哦，叫做武王廉政星。All right, the fifth 啊、uh,。A、uh, star, right? The, or the five yellow star, what we call it, Shen Kong Five Star, is one of the most dangerous star. Remember this very important point. And later on, I will touch on this point. And of course, subsequently, we have other star like the sixth、uh, star, which is、uh, the Wu Qi star, 
the seven star, which is the fortune star, the eight star, which is the um what we call the ba ba ah zhuo fu xing, and then nine is the nine nine zhi that is the six star. Ah, so five this star is very bad. Ah, we can understand. All right, we can understand. 几几件事情哈，我们能够了解事情。我们看风水嘛，第一要看那个峦头风水，有没有看到这个 Saint George 啊的 Chapel 哈、啊，这个 Saint George Chapel 有没有一个问题？就是呢，这个河、啊、有没有看到这个河？这个河我们叫做反攻水，好、啊，这个叫做反攻水。什么叫做反攻水呢？嗯，就是呢啊，那个嗯啊，那个反攻水呢，就是它是。冲着那个那个啊 b a r r e l side 而啊行走的哇，那个水，所以那是非常不好的一个啊，我们所说的风水的布局啊，有没有看到这一条河？这个就是反攻水了哦。我们永远的河河流呢，是希望能够啊环绕着那个 b a r r e l side 那个阴宅风水也是一模一样。希望这样环绕着，我们叫做玉带环绕啊。用最简单的风水的那个词语来说啊，这个就是说玉带环绕。如果是这样抱住的话，就是玉带环环绕。那这个河流嘛，是反攻水，是冲着那个 Queen Elizabeth 那个 b a r r e l side 的啊,啊。这个是这个红点这边啊，就是那个 s t George 的那个 Chapel 嘛，没有看得到？哦、啊，这个就是 s t George Chapel。然后呢，那个河流嘛，是反攻水的。所以南头风水好不好？非常的不好啊！它是冲着这个啊、呃，我们的阴宅风水，阴宅风水就是死人的那种住的那种风水啦、啊，所以是非常的不好哦。所以能够了解嘛？这个是第一个最大的问题了啊。那第二个问题，我们能够了解呢？二零二二年哈、啊，还有二零二三年那个九宫飞星是发生什么样的问题呢？哈、啊？这个也是我们非常非常需要注意的事情哈，就是呢，我们能够了解嘛啊，这个悬空飞行呢，在二零啊，这个二零的二三啊，二零二三年是发生什么回事？我们的东北方哈、啊，如果你看这个 ，OK， 我、啊、重新给你看另外一个。OK， 因为我太多 WhatsApp message 啊，所以呢有点呢、啊、，OK， 有点乱哈。啊呃、uh, ，OK， 所以等我一下哈，我 reply 一些 message。真的，今天非常的忙碌哈，所以呢，啊，我们能够看得到哈。现在哈，第一个我们现在要看的事情呢，就是我们的啊啊，或者先看这个啦。我们那个 Prince William 跟啊那个 Kate Middleton 嘛，他们现在住的地方在哪里？就在这个地方啊。就是这个圣呃，这个 Windsor 的 Castle 或 Windsor 的 Castle。有没有看到他们住的就是这个 Windsor Castle 啊？现在 Prince William 跟啊、uh, Kate Middleton， a l right？ They are currently living at this Windsor Castle. They moved here in the fall of 2022. Okay, fall of 2022. And this uh 2022, fall of 2022, right? Ah,、uh, they moved into this Windsor Castle. And we can observe, right? This new house they are staying. This is their ah、uh, the entrance to the place to the castle. All right. Ah,、uh, and this area is the white tiger position. 就是他们的右白虎位啊。我如果从这个明堂来看哦，这里是他们的明堂嘛，对不对？这门啊、呃、是另外一个方向的明堂哦。我们这里前面是那个皇子啊，跟那个皇妃住的地方就在这边。这里就是他他们明堂啊。那我们这个就是左青龙位，这个就是右白虎位。有没有看到他的右白虎位就是 Queen Elizabeth the Second？ 撞的那个地方，所以好不好呢？当然是不好哦。我们永远右白虎位都是一个凶位来的。你还在那边放呃一个放尸体的地方嘛？操，就是放死人的地方嘛。灵气阴气会非常的重啊。所以是这个是第二个风水的问题，我们能够看得到了啊。第一个就是这个河流啊、呃，这个河流我们能够看得到。这个呃，之前给给大家看的啊，这个河流是第一个问题啊，这个河流冲着那个 Queen Elizabeth II 的那个 Barrel Side， 然后第二个问题呢，就是 Queen Elizabeth 这个 Barrel Side 是在他们的右白虎位 ，Windsor Castle 就是 Prince William 呃跟 Kate Middleton 现在住的地方哈、啊，这个就是他们的右白虎位。那我们看一下今年嘛，二零啊二零什么年？今年是那个二零呃二十年了啊，今年的西方有什么东西？如果你记得哦，今年的西方就是我们的五鬼位啊
有没有啊？有没有记得今年我们西方就是无悔位啊？啊，所以你看一下，有没有看得到？它的 v a r i a l side 就在 OK 这个黄色的 star 哈、啊，现在这个黄色的 star， 你看到这个黄色是 star 对不对 ？OK， 这个是啊 Queen 的 v a r i a l side 了哈、啊。然后我们如果呢把那个太极点放在那个 Prince William 的，还有 Kate Middleton 的新家，那他。做的太极点嘛，它的西方哎，是今年的啊，个有的地方就是代表西方嘛，是今年的武王位啊 ，exactly at the west direction of Prince William and Kate Middleton's new house. The west is exactly where Queen Elizabeth II's burial site is at. All right, and in the year two zero two four, if you go and Google, all right, you go and Google yourself, right? All of us who have studied Feng Shui will know. The year two zero two four, the five yellow uh star right, which is called what we call the 五王病福星啊，就在西方啊，哈，所以能够了解呃，二零二四年嘛，二零二四年 ，all right, in the year two zero two four, right, the most negative star is exactly where Queen Elizabeth the second burial site is at. So this all will bring about negative 风水，乱土风水 ，especially. Couple with Li Qi Feng Shui, which is Shuang Gong Flying Star, for the family, all right, of Prince William, including the hus, uh, not including the father and the wife, all right. We know that this year, right, in the month of um this um in the month of let's say uh let let let's get get back to the main pointers. In the month of um February, all right, fifth of February two zero two four, all right, that is when. King Charles, right? Uh, uh, you, the news reveals that King Charles has uh cancer, all right. And then subsequently, uh, this year two zero two four, right? In March two zero two four, um, Kate Middleton announced that she also has cancer, all right. So all this can be analyzed with Feng Shui, right? All these are written very clearly on the map in itself. So you know, I just often say, ah. 那种什么很多新加坡的风水师啊，叫你啊，给你看风水师那种啊，你的门生锈啊，你换了后你就可以发大财啦。然后你的你的门前面呢、啊，不要发那种枯萎的植物啊啊。然后这种很就是很有志，我觉得很有志。我们看风水是永远要看整个大局，所以很多时候我会把那个 Google Map 呀打开出来啊，因为这个 external environment 是影响我们非常大的。对不对啊？这个都是影响我们非常大的一个风水的一个影响力。所以我也说过了，一个祖先的坟墓，他们因为他们的骨灰啊，他们的骨灰、他们的尸体嘛，里面有骨灰还有灵气嘛。那我们的身体的灵气哦，还有我们的就是啊、呃，我们好像就是说一个 special DNA 了哈，也是会跟我们的祖先有一个啊、呃、resonant resonant， 就是说呢。他们如果葬的地方风水不好的话呢，那你的下一代就是怎么说呢？你的呃 subsequent offspring 啊，也是会有问题耶。所以很多呃，我看过很多客人嘛，他们生病哎，突然间生病了啊，可能孩子生病啊，或者什么事事情啊，解决不了，也不懂为什么生病啊，天生可能呃不能够说话，或者有一些。情绪问题啊，或者甚至一些怪病的哈，啊、呃，好像一些怎么说，我们变成一个 specialist 的 child， 有时候不能够解释为什么，有时候进到他们的家里面，看他们的那个现在住的家，也是看不到原因，很多时候就是因为他们的祖先，他们的祖先的坟墓没有搞好，啊、哦，如果你的祖先坟墓没有搞好的话呢，是会很影响下一代的。OK， 那我们也是能够了解嘛，哈，这个西方嘛，西方是代表什么？哈，西方在那个易经上面呢是代表少女的哦，哈，西方是代表少女的啊，所以呢也是能够了解嘛，啊，这个 Kate Middleton 嘛，在这个王室家族里面算是什么？也是算是一个啊，怎么说呢？比较就是比较 King King Charles 的下一代，就是比较呃年轻的女人嘛。所以这个就重了，好、啊，西面就是代表小女的嘛，啊，小女生嘛，好、啊，对不对？所以呢，这些都是我们风水里面能够看得到了，哦、啊，能够看得到啊，对不对？
，所以是很可怕的啦。你搞错风水啊，有时候是真的很出人命。不管你是多么贵重的贵族啊、uh, ，royal family or even you are the king of the country, if your 风水 is having problems, it will definitely bring about problems for you also. And if you look at the year two zero two three, right? Looking back at the year two zero two three, what are the flying star sequence, right? If you look at the uh, flying star sequence of two zero two three, right? What is、uh, the direction of the、uh, what we call the number five star? Number five star is actually exactly at the where is it? Right, it's ex exactly at the north west. Right, if you go and double check, right? I know you guys maybe、uh, listen and do a little bit blur, right? Let me show you the charts of、uh, flying star, uh, two zero, uh, two zero two three, okay? 好，因为风水的东西呢，其实并不难的。我尽量用最简单的方法教大家啊。然后呢，希望大家人，可是希望给你们是正确的 information 啊。我不会告诉你。你的铁门生锈了，就换了一种风水啊，因为那种是，那个是 common sense， 那个不是风水。OK， 我们看一下二零二三年哈、啊，那个哇，我们的 flying star 哈、啊、是什么样一回事了啊？我就直接在 Google 那边给大家看那个 chart。OK， 啊啊、呃，就啊、呃、比较方便了啊。那我们看一下二零二三年嘛，好、啊。那个 North West 啊，有没有看到 North West 也是有那个 Misfortune Star， 就是我们说说的五王连连这星啊，就是那个啊、呃，就是啊五、呃、王那个是很不好的星嘛，对不对？好、啊，五王那个星是永远都是代表代表大病的，或者是非，或者官非，或者呃你的脑袋会有问题啊，总之种种各个样样的问题都会因为这个五王的星而啊、呃、让你很。很多毛病了哈，所以我们看到嘛，西北啊、呃，这个呃西的西北方嘛是乾卦，乾卦也是代表父亲啊。好、哦，所以二零二三年其实 King Charles 已经是有那个身体上的问题了。我告诉你啊，二零二三年 King Charles 已经是有身体身体上的问题啊 l o t West 啊，因为五王星嘛啊，所以这些都是哈、啊，我们可以从啊那个。呃、uh, ，palace 那边的那个风水看得到咯，对不对？啊，这些呢都是我们懂得看风水的时候嘛，啊，我们能够看到，因为哈，为什么？你能够 observe 嘛？你看那个弯弯的那个河流在哪里 ？You can see right the river bend right. It curves exactly at the northwest. All right. This is the castle. All right. Ah,、uh, this is where um Prince William and Middleton. Uh, keep Middleton currently living, and exactly at the long west is where the river bend is cutting. Uh, is cutting across their long west side. Oh, 就是我们的西北方，就是代表乾卦，代表父亲的。所以其实 King Charles 在二零二三年开始已经是有一个生病的状况了。那二零二四年他才呃、uh, announce 了哈，就是 diagnose 有那个啊。Uh, Cancer. Okay. So, uh, 看一下 comment 先 Hello, Miss Maka. Um, Joanne Tan, thank you very much. Oh,、uh, for watching, nice thing. 也是谢谢你的观看 Hello, Shelly. Uh, Yip and Pauline, the son-in-law of Queen Elizabeth's cousin, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, Thomas Kings Kingston killed himself by apparent suicide a month ago. Gunshot to the head. Yes. Uh, that's that's another very um inter uh very uh what I call. Look the point, point, right? Look, uh, point that is look worthy. A lot of issues are occurring after King Elizabeth the second was buried in uh, cha uh, this chapel, right? This chapel. So, um, really, something is wrong with this uh chapel feng shui. I have to be honest. From the Luan Tou feng shui, uh, from the Li Qi feng shui, they are all showing uh significant problems. So. Likewise, for us, right, who are staying、uh, near to chapel, near to churches, near to temples, religious places, you guys have to be very cautious of feng shui problems that are being um、uh, that are brought about by all these religious places. Also, some people thought, right, near staying near to religious places is good good thing, but in feng shui, we considered religious places like chapel, like. Churches like uh temples, Taoist temples, Buddhist temples, or even any kind of religious spaces as a kind of yin ground. 
Yin ground is a place whereby spiritual beings like deities, like uh, other form of spirits will loiter or spirits that are not able to reincarnate. Like for example, um, some of the souls of the spirits, they pass away due to uh, you know, premature, uh, uh, you know, um, how to say, they pass away during pregnancy or so something like that, right? A, a lot of spirits are not able to reincarnate. And thus, they will loiter around these kind of religious places in order to find liberation for their sufferings. So actually, if you are a spirit, right, uh, it's kind of sad, right? Because, you know, you cannot find uh, a resting place. And these kind of religious places, right, due to the presence of deities, they will try to seek help, kind of seek help, right? Or a plead for um, leniency or mercy from the deities. So... Their religious places, the yin energy is very strong. So you should not stay near to such places like churches, chapels, religious places, temples, etc. etc. Of course, it will definitely affect you the most if your house is staying nearby um what we call the you know uh places whereby people uh, are buried or have their bone ashes um you know tapped, that kind of places. It is not good. It is not good, especially if it is these places are found at the northwest or overlapping with the five yellow star. All right, just one yen zhen xing. Exactly the case for uh, Queen Elizabeth, the current resting place. Okay, so um, so we can see right. Uh, actually, if you look closely, right. I'm sorry. Um, this is uh, irrelevant. If you look closely, right, at the back of uh the Prince, uh, where Prince William and Kate Middleton is staying. If, if you can see, right, uh, I don't know, if you can see uh, from the Google map, right, I have not been to that castle before, but since, right, on the Google map, they actually built a bagua, a building that looks like a bagua at the back of their house. I don't know if that is purposefully done to help them in terms of feng shui, okay? If you look closely at the Google map, you guys can Google yourself and see if you can find this, right? That is uh, exactly at the back area, right? At the back corner, right? Somewhere near here, right? If you enlarge, the, enlarge their house, right? Uh, see if uh, the very handsome Prince William is there, all right? Or uh, the very, very beautiful Kate Middleton is there. Not sure if they can be found on the Google map. But if you go and um, enlarge the photo, you can see, right, this area here, this area here at the back, of their house, there is actually a bagua shape or egg shaped, egg shaped uh, uh, kind of uh, structure being built at the back of their house. 就是他们屋子后面哦，我不懂呃，从你们看不看得到了？从 Google Map 就能够看得到哎，在他们的屋子后面就有一个八卦形状的一个 building 哎，我不懂是不是他们有看有找一些看风水的人。看过，或者他这个是很旧的，以前也是代表了英国以前很旧，很就是很久以前啊，已经开始有人懂得一些风水的东西。好，因为这个就是他们的福位啊。我们看风水里的时候，我们后面这个是靠上位，你这个靠上位一定要搞好哎。好，尤其是他们的他们的屋子前面啊，就是这个撞死人的地方 ，is a burial site。Obviously, they will need a very strong. You can see, right? The barrier side is here. If you draw a straight line, this uh bagua building, this bagua building, right, is actually uh run along a very straight line, right? At this uh uh you know the ch chapel is here. The bagua uh backing for the house is right here, and other bagua uh building can be observed at. The left of the house also. All right, I'll try to show you. I try to show you at the time I try to capture the screen. Um, let's see if I'm able to show you. Um, which is right here. Okay, perhaps I yeah, which is right here. Okay, if you can see, can you observe another bagua shape? Right, right here, right. Another bagua shape low uh building, which is right here. Okay, so it's kind of interesting. This is the left dragon, 左青龙位 the left dragon position for uh this house. This house, right? Okay, so what I'm trying to teach you today, right, is some of the very simple, basic feng shui, luan tong feng shui and li qi feng shui. 
that you can apply in your life also. To summarize, the very simple idea is that we will always need to take note of where the five yellow star. In Chinese, it is called 五王眼真星。它是九宫飞星里面一个最不好的星星。啊，为什么最不好呢？其实我们现在是九运嘛，九运是代表那个我们九子那颗星呢，是代用什么代表？九子那颗星就是我们九子右比星啊。其实每过二十年，我们也是转一个大运。其实我们 Second World War 的时候啊，大家记得 Second World War 吗？整个世界大乱的时候呢，就是武王年真性当令的时候。所以武王年真性在的话，什么东西都不好哈。所以今年呢、啊，我们。就是再 repeat 多一次了哈、啊、，in case 你还不知道我在说什么，我们看到嘛，如果你放那个 compass 在那个啊 k a t e Middleton 跟 Prince 啊 Prince William 的 house 嘛，就在这边，他们的西方嘛，有没有看到有就是代表西方嘛 ，west 和 west 哈，就是呢有这个代表西方的 ，OK， 这个一个星星，这个黄色的星星就是 Queen Elizabeth 的那个什么 resting place 的 burial site。Exactly at the west, all right. So if you go and double check, right, Nian Zheng is at which position this year, all right. I will do a quick Google check for you in case you don't trust what I'm saying, okay. So ah,、uh, let me show you a two zero two four flying star chart, okay. The west is exactly where you are seeing the five yellow star, all right. Let's see, look at this ah、uh, together, all right. You can do a Google check, right? Whatever I say is evidence based. So, uh, and all these are ancient wisdom, right? A lot of app. Let me close them first. Good.、Okay. Uh, wow, there's so many apps. I don't know why, but um, yeah. So, uh, I just borrow this chart, right, from uh, from this uh website, right? And you guys can see, right, Wu Wang, which is right at number five. Right, Wu Wang is right at number five. Which fortune star is at the west? Right, Wu Wang five is at the west. And at and if you look at this map again, right? I know I'm a little bit of、uh, repeating myself, but I want you guys to be clear. This very simple concept: five yellow star is bad. Right, if you cannot remember anything today, just remember five yellow star is bad. All right, then this west here is exactly. Overlapping with the burial site of Queen Elizabeth the Second, so if you are Prince William and you are、uh, Kate Middleton, you are staying here. At the west is the Five Yellow Star, and it overlaps with the Luan Po Feng Shui, where it is the burial site of dead people. Will that be good? It will be no good. It will be no good. All that you need to know today is that. All right, simple concept. Five Yellow Star, Nian Zhen Wu Wang Xing is not good. 然后呢？如果在那个乱头风水里面，在那个 external environment， right within the external environment， it is overlapping， right means at the same direction with a burial site, graveyard, a church, a chapel or a temple, religious places, ah,、uh, or even some places like slaughterhouse, you know, where animals go there to be slaughtered. It is also very negative. Okay, simple as that. So um so yeah so that's I'm trying to tell you guys today okay very bad feng shui alright so hopefully this uh today's session is simple enough not nothing complicated just remember all this and you guys will be able to check on your house feng shui also um so this is very practical uh this is very simple to use and、uh, whatever direction、uh, the religious places is overlapping with right will correspondingly affect different family members. Okay, so to summarize one last time, all right, we can see two zero two three, right? The five yellow star is at the northwest, and northwest represents the eldest, ah,、uh, male gender figure. Most of the time, is the father. So King Charles, King, um, oh sorry, King Charles, right? Sorry, I I'm speaking too fast. King Charles to um to I mean according to the flying star chart, right? From two zero two three onwards, right? Actually, he he would have gotten the cancer already. Maybe it was just officially diagnosed in the beginning of two zero um two four, right? Two zero two three. I'm very sure that he was already ill, right? Two zero two three. Lord West having five yellow star. That's why King Charles is ah、uh, King. I'm sorry, King Charles is ill. Okay, and two zero two four. 
the West representing the youngest daughter or the youngest female uh, uh, member of the family is represented by West and it is having five yellow. That's why, right, when this direction is also overlapping with the barrel side of Queen Elizabeth II, right, it will bring about illnesses. So I'm very sad also for them because, uh, you know, throughout the history of the royal family, Princess Diana passed away and then, uh, you know, you know, uh, Prince William and uh, Prince Harry became uh, motherless. I don't hope that um, their grand grandchildren will also be motherless. But uh, I I can only advise them move out. All right, move out of the house. Right, if it, it is a bad feng shui, don't stay there anymore. All right, okay. It is is no coincidence. Although we cannot scientifically right tell you, but all this correlation. Uh, why is it that after Queen Elizabeth passed away, right? Subsequently, King Charles. Uh, have cancer and subsequently Kate Middleton also have cancer you cannot explain scientifically but from from feng shui when you observe the external environment and the um the li qi feng shui which is the line flying star feng shui you can see a very strong correlation and we all can use all these um correlation for the betterment of our life if we are able to come to a proper uh um analysis and subsequently carry out intervention we can prevent illnesses from taking place and to help us live better life so that is all i want to share with you today hopefully it's simple and straightforward enough any questions from any viewers uh perhaps before i end right uh, i will also like to show you guys um some of the progress of my shop uh, I'm I'm really extremely busy these few days. I have to coordinate a lot of things that, that are related to my renovation, uh, furniture. Sometimes they deliver. Sometimes they you know uh they they tell you one timing, then they deliver uh at another timing, and then uh the painting you know because tomorrow is Good Friday, they are not able to continue uh painting because it's at a shopping mall. <laughs> so a lot of things uh you know um you know giving me a lot of distraction, I will say, but uh, I hope this period will pass very soon and I will be able to see all of you right in my shop subsequently. So currently, right, the uh, display uh, shelves are all up, uh, all example, kind of example, right, but they need to be um, installed, right, example, but not yet installed. So uh, hopefully they will be completed uh, in the coming week. And then, uh, but the coloring and the carpet are all done, right? The, the coloring and the carpet are all done already, but the ceiling, right, has yet to be completed. And it will take some time, all right? Because uh, tomorrow is uh, Good Friday. Saturday and Sunday, the management doesn't allow us to continue with the painting, all right? It's quite strange, um, but uh, we have to respect them because uh, they have their own rules and regulations. It is, uh, you know, retail space kind of uh, setting. So um, hopefully I will get it done and uh, ready for you to visit in the next two weeks. Thank you all for watching and uh, for your kind support. Any questions from any viewers? If not, I will call it a day because any an other piece of furniture is actually on the way and I have to coordinate with um with the um with the delivery um. So I will see you guys right in the next live video, which is on Sunday 9 p.m. Hopefully today's test. <laughs> Today's sharing has been a helpful one and I uh, look forward to see you again, all right, uh, in the next live video. Do help me to like, share, subscribe, press the bell button and then uh, help me to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Thank you very much and see you again. Bye-bye.